Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It is a joyful time today. It's a time to celebrate God. Why? Because you are still li living. If you're hearing this broadcast right now, if your, your ears are open, if your heart is still beating, if you're breathing, if you're walking, if you have anything uh, uh, in you, you should take time out to praise the Lord. Hi, I'm uh, Pastor Billy Bird. I'm the youth pastor of House of Prayer Evangelistic Church. And of course, you probably know that because you probably, hopefully you've been watching this or you have come through uh, times to see the broadcast and see what God is doing. Well, today I have a special guest. I've got a young man that um, has been ministered with us before. Uh, I believe this guy is very enthusiastic. He loves the Lord and he has a word for us today. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to introduce him and then I'm going to get out of the way so this, this young man can deliver what God has given him to deliver. This young man, uh, his father and mother are both uh, ministers of the gospel. And I just believe that he has, he is an offspring of the gospel. And so if you put your hands together, if you're standing there or sitting there or driving, that you put, give him a, well, a, a welcome. Uh, we're introducing you today to Brother Xavier Cofield, one of my young brothers. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Saints, youth, uh, teens, uh, tuning into the live. Um, it is a beautiful morning, uh, April 11th, 2021. Um, I'm not going to keep you guys long. I'm going to just be giving you guys a few points and a few words of encouragement that God has given me over the last uh, week and a half. Um, so the theme, as you probably see in the description, is the helper. And um, we oftentimes, you know, like last Sunday uh, was a good Sunday. And uh, pretty soon we got coming up um, the day of Pentecost. And if you know about the day of Pentecost, it is um, the time which, um, you know, there was an outpouring of God's Holy Spirit. And that's um, who I'm referring to when I say the helper. Um, so um, I'm going to go to the first scripture. I'm going to just hit a couple scriptures and uh, expound on it. And uh, we're going to have some words of transparency as well. Um, so I'm going to be coming from John 14, 15 through 18 first. Um, and it says, if you love me, these are the words of Jesus. Um, if you love me, you keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he will give you another helper that he may abide in you forever. The spirit of truth. No, no, no. He will give you another helper that he may abide in you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him or knows him, but you know him. For he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Um, that was just the first scripture. Here we see that um, this is one of the first times. Uh, one of the first times uh, that Jesus introduces to us and promises to us um, another helper um, for those who love him and obey him. And uh, that's just my introduction. And before, before I proceed, I, um, I'm going to just pray real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Um, thank you for another uh, beautiful morning, Lord, that you made. Um, we thank you for your love, your grace, your kindness, Lord. Uh, we pray that you will forgive us for our sins, Lord. And um, I pray that I will decrease and that your spirit will increase, Lord. And uh, make my weakness your strength, Lord. And uh, I pray that um, whoever's tuning in to the live, and that they'll learn something and um, apply it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yeah. Um, yeah, so John 14, 15 through 18 was just a quick little context of um, of the first encounters that we see of the Holy Spirit. And, uh, so I'm going to go to my second scripture. This is John 14, 26 through 27. Um, same chapter, same, same context. Um, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. 
not as the world gives do I give to you. And um, if you just look in just little key words, um, you see give a lot because um, the Holy Spirit is, is a gift. Just like, you know, we had salvation through the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. But as he said, he would not leave us orphans. He left us a helper to guide us and to show us the path in all directions. And, um, you know, I just want to speak on today's generation. You know, a lot of us are, even myself, um, are, are a generation of, of prodigal, prodigal children. You know, a lot of us is in the church. Um, you know, this piece that the world offers is something that I would like to call um, um, noise. You know what I'm saying? It's not per se all sinful, but it's things like, you know, things like social media, um, what you got on, clothes, shoes, you know what I'm saying? There's so many things that could turn into noise and become toxic for the believer, especially the young believer. And um, because a lot of us, just being honest, just our mental state, um, you know, our attention span isn't uh, where, it, where, where it should be, you know what I'm saying? And um, so it's so easy for us to get caught up in these things that, you know, that, does, that limits the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's something that I like to call noise. And uh, me and a very good friend of mine, we um, saw a movie last weekend called The Chaos Walking. And in this movie, um, the, the star of the movie, Tom Holland, he was, uh, he is, so to just give a little backstory of the movie, all the men, their thoughts turned into, it, it kind of like physically manifested into like audio, audible, or whatever. And uh, it was moments where he, it was things that he didn't want to say and it blocked him from doing a lot of things that he wanted to do. And likewise, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure a lot of the youth, you know what I'm saying, you're desiring God, you're seeking God in these, you know what I'm saying, you, you're thinking about it up here, but the noise is blocking you and limiting you from really, from first, you know what I'm saying, having that God encounter and also letting the Holy Spirit um, use you. And, um, you know, if you're so filled up with noise, it really limits the amount of spiritual space, spiritual space that the Holy Spirit has to operate. Um, and you wonder why, you know what I'm saying, you wonder why, you know what I'm saying, you come to church, but when you leave here, you, you can't stop cussing. You can't hear from God. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're probably struggling with porn. There's so many things that you could be struggling with because you're filling up your body with all of this noise and things of this world. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy for you to fall. You ever wonder why it's just so easy to sin? You know what I'm saying? I'm here at church. I read my, you know what I'm saying? I do what I do. But it's so easy for you to fall into sin because you're not, um, you're not, you're filling your body up. You're enveloped in noise. These things that are insignificant, you know what I'm saying, things of this world that are vain, they don't last, they're perishable. And, um, you know what I'm saying, when we tune out the noise and get rid of this noise, we are able to, um, how do I say this? We are able to give a little context on the purpose of the gift of the helper. Um, the helper has that the helper gives us. Um, I'm gonna read the same scripture, John 14, 26 and 27. Um, read it one more time. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, Jesus' name, he will teach you all things, not just uh, spiritual things or things, uh, biblical things, but all things. Um, and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. And I think that's so good because. This is when God provides that way of escape when temptation hits us or when we're faced, you know, with obstacles that this life brings. And um, after that, he says, peace, all things I said to you, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. And I just think it's just so good that God gives us this peace through the Holy Spirit. He gives us this peace to know that everything is going to be okay because I'm rooted rooted in God. You know what I'm saying? But when you got that noise, 
it, it brings fear, brings discouragement. If you, you know what I'm saying, dwelling in these sins, it brings that self-condemnation. And it's really hard to, to really grasp to God, you know what I'm saying? And um, so the purpose of the Holy Spirit, it operates and moves in so many different ways. It's, it's, some even call it a sixth sense. Like it could be you walking to school and you could just have a random feeling that says take a different route. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That could save your life, literally. You know what I'm saying? And also, you can make one move and, you know what I'm saying, fall right into your purpose, fall right into what God has for you. You could just meet the right person, the right, like, just, it just takes one simple move. But we have to be uh, receptive to what, you know, the Holy Spirit is saying. It's not going to always be, oh, Xavier, right. you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be an audible voice. It's, it could be a feeling. Sometimes it does operate audibly. It just moves in so many different ways. That's why we have to we have to tune out the noise, you know, secular music, social media, just so many. Uh, so, you know, in conclusion, I would just like to say that, um, you know, take the time out and ask yourself, how am I letting God in all the way? Am I blocking God out? How much time am I giving God and um, to allow the Holy Spirit to use me? And uh, because a lot of times, you know, as kids, y'all probably think, oh, the Holy Spirit is just this thing that it's for preachers. You know what I'm saying? But no, but God requires it. Jesus requires it for all of us. He wants all of us to have it. And if you still dwell in the sin, God is waiting. He's waiting on you. He wants to pour out his Holy Spirit on you. He wants to forgive you. He wants to have, he wants to envelop his arms around you um, because he loves us. And I think it's so good because the Holy Spirit is is, is one of the man, great manifestations of God's grace. You know what I'm saying? Not only did Jesus, Jesus allow, you know what I'm saying, us to crucify him for our sins, he also left, you know, he could have just, you know, find your own way. He could have left us as orphans. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't deserve him to die anyway. So, but not only did he did he he died for us, he left something for us to operate and guide us um, in these evil days, these last evil days. Um, so that's about it. Love y'all. Thank y'all. And um, y'all be blessed. What a mighty word uh, from my brother, brother X, Xavier Cofield, I call him X. Uh, what a mighty word. Uh, this brother um, is really maturing um, in God. And, um, and I'm, I'm very proud of him because it is it, it's so rare anymore. And I hate to say this, but that to have young men, even young women that are uh, not ashamed of the gospel. Uh, we have so many people who have have fallen away. And we know what the word says about it, that there'll be a great falling away from the church, but they have already started falling away. And so I thank God for this brother uh, who was willing. And, and a lot of people don't understand that how difficult it is to get in front of people, but to get in front of um, an audience and to minister a word and to, and really just to the, a church or be connected to the, the, the Lord. And if you don't have a place, we will welcome you here. Let's say, because I'd be in trouble if I don't say this. I want to say happy anniversary to my parents. They're celebrating 55, is it 55 or 56 years of marriage. And so I thank God for them also. Um, and so I just wanted to shout out to my mother and father, Paul Bird and Janie Bird. We again thank you and we adore you. You are so awesome and you are generous with all that you have, Lord. And we thank God that you have allowed us to be your heirs. Um, you gave to Abraham and you said from him, all of his seeds, those that will follow your commandments, Lord, will be able to have and, 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 and have the things that he said, that you said that he would have. And so we thank you for the blessings, Lord God, and we thank you for how you've continuously gone forward before us, Lord, and touched those places and, and you how you have helped, you have helped us and you have kept us from hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, we ask him today, God, that you would continue to do this for us, that you would cover us with your with your.